Hello everyone, my name is Boko. Thank you for coming. Today we have a mini course lesson 22, pronouns. Download the free PDF for this lesson and many other lessons on my Kofi page. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and let's begin. Haide da počnemo. Let's talk about pronouns today. There are several categories. One, personal pronouns. Two, possessive pronouns. Three, reflexive pronouns. Four, demonstrative pronouns. Five, interrogative pronouns. Six, relative pronouns. And seven, indefinite pronouns. Let's start with number one. So we've got personal pronouns here, nominative case. Ja, ti, on, ona, ono, mi, vi, oni. I'm hungry. Ja sam gladan, or just gladan sam, right? You're not American. Ti nisi americanac. Is she blonde? Da li je ona plava? Who are you? Ko ste vi, or ko si ti? They are talking to Borko. Oni pričaju sa Borkom, which is me, right? Borko is my Serbian name with the hard R. Genitive case. Mene or me, tebe, te, njega, ga, nje, je, njega or ga, nas, vas, njih ili ih. Usually, for the genitive case, we use the, the long form, but there obviously are two forms, the short and the long one. There are two special constructions which frequently use pronouns. Both use the genitive case. The first one is, here is, here are, evo. It's used when you want to emphasize that something is now here, visible, etc., when you show up somewhere or when you find something, you just say that, you know. Here's my sister. Evo moje sestre. Here I am. Evo me. So you, you arrived there. Maybe you were a few minutes late. Maybe not. I mean, you're just stating that you're here. Evo me. You say this at the moment of your arrival. So here he is. Here it is. Evo ga. Here's Anna. Evo ane. Here's the food, evo hrane. The second construction is, there is, there are, ima, and then genitive after that. There isn't, there aren't, nema, and then, of course, again, genitive. As you maybe remember earlier, um, there is, there are, we can also translate as postoi, and after, after that you have a nominative. So there's a park, postoi park but ima parka. So that's why I would usually suggest the postoi construction because it's easier because you would just use nominative after it. But this is also very common, so we have to learn this as well. Is there a salad? Imali salate. There is a salad. Ima salate. There's no salad. Nema salate. Is nenad there? Dali ima nenada. He's not there. Nema ga. They're not here. Nema ich. She's not here. Nema je. If you want to study these pronouns in more detail, check out the pronouns in all seven cases, this video right here. The link is in the video description below. Let's move on to the possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns in Serbian are used to show ownership or possession. Obviously, they are inflected according to the gender, number and case of the noun they modify. The singular possessive pronouns in Serbian are moj, tvoj, njegov, njen, njegov, naš, vaš, njihov. So the pronouns moj, tvoj, uh, naš, vaš, they have the E ending in uh, neuter, like moje, tvoje, naše, vaše. And the others have O at the end for neuter, like njegovo, njeno, and njihovo. 
The plural possessive pronouns in Serbian are moji, tvoji, njegovi, njeni, njegovi, naši, vaši, njihovi. So this is the table for the possessive pronouns in all seven cases plural. Uh, I didn't put the singular form. If you want the table for singular possessive pronouns in all seven cases and you want to study possessive pronouns in more detail, check out the mini course 19 possessive adjectives pronouns. This video here, the link is in the video description. Here are some examples of possessive pronouns in use. This is my car. Ovo je moj auto. Are these your shoes? Dali su ovo tvoje cipele? His phone is black. Njegov telefon je crn. Our house has a big yard. Naša kuća ima veliko dvorište. Your book is very interesting. Vaša knjiga je veoma interesantna. Their children are very talented. Njihova deca su veoma talentovana. In some cases, the possessive pronoun can be used without the noun it modifies, especially in colloquial speech, uh, as in this is mine, ovo je moje. And in that case, you would always use the neuter gender. So you ask, is this yours? Da li je ovo tvoje? This is not theirs. Ovo nije njihovo, and so on. Reflexive pronouns in Serbian are used to indicate that the subject of the sentence is also the object of the verb. They are formed with the particle se after the appropriate personal pronoun. We usually use the shorter form se, but the longer form also exists. Sebe. Maybe in English oneself. I love myself. Volim se. Volim sebe. Or ja se volim. You love yourself, voliš se, he loves himself, voli se, she loves herself, voli se, it loves itself, voli se, we love ourselves, volimo se, you love yourselves, plural, volite se, and they love themselves, vole se. Examples, you know yourself best, ti sebe poznaješ najbolje, or poznaješ se najbolje. Again, like I talked about earlier, you use the longer form, in this case, uh, sebe, when you emphasize. Like, ti sebe poznaješ, you know yourself the best. Uh, she won't introduce herself, ona se neće predstaviti. We protect ourselves from danger, čuvamo se od opasnosti. To praise hvaliti, hvalim. You praise yourselves too much. Previše se hvalite. They don't see themselves as a team. Oni sebe ne vide kao team. Take care of yourself. Čuvaj se. Just take care, right? The, the expression. Čuvaj se. He will hurt himself. Povredit će se. It's worth noting that the reflexive pronouns are often used more frequently in Serbian than in English and are sometimes used in situations where English might use a possessive pronoun instead. Important note, reflexive pronouns are sometimes used for emphasis or to indicate a reciprocal action. For example, oni su se voleli. That can mean they loved each other or it can mean they love themselves. Demonstrative pronouns. This topic was covered in the mini course lesson 18. This lesson here, the link is in the video description. By the way, just like possessives, demonstrative adjectives and pronouns in Serbian are identical. They have the same forms. Demonstrative pronouns in Serbian are used to indicate and point out specific people, objects or concepts. They agree in gender, number and case with the noun they refer to. There are five demonstrative pronouns in Serbian. Ovaj, taj, onaj, ovde and tamo. So the first three, um, you definitely have ovaj, ova, ovo. Taj, ta, 
to, ona i ona, ono. So they, the, the first three change in gender. Ovde and tamo doesn't change like that. Ovaj is used to point out something that is close to the speaker. It agrees in gender number and case with the noun it, it refers to. Examples. This car is new. Ovaj auto je nov. This book is interesting. Ova knjiga je zanimljiva. This child is cute. Ovo dete je slatko. That, taj, ta, to. Taj is used to point out something that is far from the speaker and within sight. It also agrees in gender, number and case with the noun it refers to. That car is old. Taj auto je star. That house is big. Ta kuća je velika. That tree is tall. To drvo je visoko. Yonder, that one over there. Um, or that one we talked about. Onaj, ona, ono. The word yonder is an adverb used to indicate a location or direction that is far away from the speaker and that may or may not be within sight. I mean, this is the Serbian definition for onaj. So, that phone from the last store is good. Onaj telefon iz prošle radnje je dobar. That woman who came yesterday, you know? Ona žena koja je došla juče, znaš? That lake we saw on Tara. Ono jezero koje smo videli na Tari. That car over there. Onaj auto tamo. Here, ovde. Ovde is used to refer to something that is close to the speaker. It is invariable and does not agree in gender, number and case. I am here. Ja sam ovde. We just say ovde sam. The book is here. Knjiga je ovde. We park the car here. Parkirali smo auto ovde. There. Tamo. Or sometimes you can say you can say, or you can hear people say onde, but it's not really that common. Tamo is used to refer to something that is far from the speaker. It is also invariable and does not agree in gender, number and case. They are there, oni su tamo. The book is there, knjiga je tamo. The car is parked there, auto je parkiran tamo. Interrogative pronouns. Interrogative pronouns in Serbian are used to ask questions about unknown or unspecified people, things or information. They are used to inquire about who, what, where, when, why and how. Here are the seven main interrogative pronouns in Serbian along with their translations and example of their use. Who, ko, used to ask about people. Who is that? Ko je to? Who are you? Ko si ti? Who won the competition? Ko je pobedio na takmičenju? What? Šta? Used to ask about things or actions. What is that? Šta je to? What are you doing? Šta radiš? What is graphic design? Šta je grafički design? Which? Koji? Koja? Koje, depending on the gender, used to ask about things or actions. It is used much, much more in Serbian than in English because in English it can be what or which. But usually in English it would be what and we would translate it as koji. What is your favorite food? Koja je tvoja omiljena hrana? So we would ask which is your favorite food. Whenever there's a certain choice for your answer, like you're choosing between multiple, you know, choices, then you're actually going to use koi, not šta. What is your favorite ice cream? Koi je tvoj omiljeni sladoled? Which day is best for you? Koji dan je najbolji za tebe? Where, gde, used to ask about locations. Where is the restaurant? Gde je restoran? Where were you last night? Gde si bio, bila, sinoć? 
Where did you park the car? Gde si parkirao? Parkirala auto. When? Kada? Used to ask about time or events. When are you going on vacation? Kada ideš na odmor? When does the movie start? Kada počinje film? When did you finish your work? Kada si završio, završila sa poslom? Why? Zašto? Used to ask about reasons or motivations. Why did you come here? Zašto si došao, došla ovde? Why didn't you finish the task? Zašto nisi završio, završila zadatak? Why do you like to travel? Zašto voliš da putuješ? It's important to note that the interrogative pronouns can also be used in indirect questions. In such cases, they are not placed at the beginning of the sentence, but rather in the sentence structure of a declarative sentence. How, kako, used to ask about the manner or method of doing something or about the state or condition of something. How are you? Kako si? How did you make this cake? Kako si napravio, napravila ovu tortu? How can I learn Serbian? Kako da naučim srpski? Relative pronouns. Relative pronouns in Serbian are used to connect two clauses, where one clause refers to a noun or a pronoun mentioned in the other clause. The most commonly used relative pronouns in Serbian are koi, šta, ko, and či. Koi is used to refer to people, animals, and things in nominative, accusative, and genitive cases. I bought the book that you recommended. Kupio, kupila, sam knjigu koju si preporučio or preporučila. Do you like the movie we watched? Da li ti se sviđa film koji smo gledali? Šta is used to refer to things in denominative and accusative cases. I don't know what happened. Ne znam šta se desilo. Please repeat what you told me yesterday. Molim te, ponovi šta si mi rekao, rekla juče. Ko is used to refer to people and animals in denominative and accusative cases. I asked him who that was. Pitao sam ga, pitala sam ga, ko je to? He told me who's not coming. Rekao mi je ko ne dolazi. Či is used to express possession and means whose in English. That is the house whose owner is my friend. To je kuća čiji vlasnik je moj prijatelj. It's the family whose dog you're playing with. To je porodica sa čijim psom se igraš. Important notes about relative pronouns. 1. In Serbian, relative pronouns can refer to both people and things, and they decline in cases like other nouns. For example, koji, which, is declined as follows. Koji, kog, kom, kog, kojim, kom. 2. In Serbian, there is a distinction between restrictive and non-restrictive relative clauses. A restrictive relative clause is one that is necessary to identify the noun being described, while a non-restrictive relative clause simply adds additional information. For example, the book that I read is very good. Knjiga koju sam pročitao, pročitala, je jako dobra is a restrictive relative clause because it is necessary to identify which book is being referred to. On the other hand, my friend, who is very intelligent, recommended that book to me. Moj prijatelj, koji je veoma inteligentan, preporučio mi je tu knjigu is a non-restrictive relative clause because the information about the friend's intelligence is not necessary to identify which friend is being referred to. 
And the last one, indefinite pronouns. Indefinite pronouns in Serbian refer to non-specific or unknown people, things, or amounts. They are used to avoid repeating a noun or to refer to something in a general way. Here are some examples of indefinite pronouns in Serbian. Someone, neko. I don't know who, but someone left this here. Ne znam ko, ali neko je ostavio ovo ovde. Nešto, something. It seems to me that something is missing from the dish. Čini mi se da nešto fali ovom jelu. Some, neki neka neko, when it's uncountable, and malo, and then genitive plural, when it's countable. This is different from English. Take a look. There is some man at the door. Neki čovek je na vratima. She bought you some purse. Like, I don't know. I, I think she bought you some purse. Kupila ti je neku tašnu. And then we have countable. There were some people at the concert, not many. Bilo je malo ljudi na koncertu, ne puno. Like in this case, you could say like a small number of people or something. I mean, that's what you're referring to. Uh, or there are some strawberries in the bowl. Ima malo jagoda u čini. Anyone, bilo ko. Anyone can do that job. Bilo ko može da uradi taj posao. Who should do this? Anyone. Ko treba ovo da uradi? Bilo ko. Anything, bilo šta. Anything is better than that. Bilo šta je bolje od toga. Uh, what should we buy? Anything. Šta da kupimo? Bilo šta. Nothing, ništa. I didn't see anything suspicious. So in Serbian this would be I didn't see nothing suspicious, right? Words like nothing, no one, nowhere uh, are not considered negative. So you still have to negate your verb. Nisam video ništa sumnjivo. That's nothing. You should see my notebook. To nije ništa. Treba da vidiš moju svesku. Everyone or each svako. Everyone has the right to their own opinion. Svako ima pravo na svoje mišljenje. Each person gets their own set. Svako dobija svoj set. All sorts of things. Svašta. You can buy all sorts of things at the fair. Na sajmu možeš da kupiš svašta. There's different stuff in that suitcase. Ima svašta u tom koferu. Koji, which, used as an indefinite pronoun to refer to things. I'm not sure which model I like the most. Nisam siguran koji mi se model sviđa najviše. All sorts of, various. Ko je kakav? There are all sorts of sites in the city. U gradu ima koje kakvih znamenitosti. Alright, thank you very much for watching. If you wish to have a live one-on-one -on -one lesson, you can find me on italki. Also, improve your Serbian on the language learning app, Utalk. Download free PDFs on my coffee page. Check out my socials. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hvala, vidimo se. Ciao.